This will be fun, folks. Let's hope the game lives up to the hype. It's a short kick. Keep it away from Peppers. And it bounces. Got to cover it. And the Wolverines do dive on it at the 22-yard line. And now the answer to the question that's been asked for a couple of weeks as tempers already Kirk begin to flare over on that sidelines. For five touchdowns. His legs have been more of a factor than his arm. And Barrett hands it off to Curtis Samuel who gets the edge. And the guy from Brooklyn shows his quicks and makes a first down. I've seen a mobile quarterback in a long time. Barrett throwing for the first time in the tight window there. Noah Brown makes the catch and muscles out near the 40 to their first down. A lot of these guys know each other from back in their high school days. Barrett, this is his first keeper of the afternoon, not the last, and he moves the six again out near midfield. Got Barrett keeps it, escapes. JT Barrett into the secondary, lowers the head, moves down to the 20. They're out there also. Playing fast on third down, Barrett from the pocket, buys time, rolling. And now we'll get knocked out of bounds at the line of scrimmage by Stribling. Dicey play in Happy Valley. He's not missed inside 40, but the pressure of the game can mess with the mind. And the reliable senior kicker pulls it wide left. Seven. Spate gets protection, incomplete, delivered in traffic, falling down was Darbo. They're walked up to the line of scrimmage. Barrett has good protection for a time, and now is dropped. Michigan with the 37th sack of the season. That's Ryan Glasgow. It's Darbo in motion. Spate looks back to the near side and delivers a strike. And the catch is made by J.U. Chess. Spade from the pocket delivers a nice throw into a tight window again to Grant Perry. And first down, Spade straight back. Lofts it, but goes up high, collects it, and makes the catch inside the red zone. Again, that matchup problem for Ohio State. On the end around. He handed off to Chesson and tries to cut back. And another little wrinkle there. That's a play that's hurt Ohio State at times this season. Yeah. Keeps it. Tries to get the edge. Jabril Peppers knocked down for a loss again. It was Hubbard blowing the play up, and it's fourth down. In a row, a chip shot from 28. And he knocks it straight through right off of the flagpole, which keep the defense guessing in terms of the personnel. Spate chased immediately and hit, knocked down for the first time. Jerome Baker on the sack. And number three nursing that sore left shoulder goes to the ground for the first time. Davion Smith lined up in his end zone. They fake it to him. Spate gets the throw away. Intercepted. And another pick six for the Ohio State defense. Malik Hooker just walks in. And the horseshoe is alive again now. Peppers at the goal line. Escapes the swarm. And Jabril Peppers has a line down the sideline, has to spin free. That allowed the pursuit to catch him. That was the kicker, Tyler Durbin, who saved the touchdown by getting in Peppers' way. So far for the Wolverines, they need six. Buckeyes rush four, but Spade is flushed and now delivers a strike. And coming back to the football was Darbo. They moved the sticks to the 40 for Allen, needing a couple yards here. A roll out and a throw far side and wide open. Making the catch there is Grant Perry, who's been involved in this first half. Approaching the final minute of the half. Play action again. Spade over the middle. In the traffic. Catch made by Darbo. And the Wolverines knocking on the door. Hill again. Pure power football. Muscles in for the maize and blue. And Michigan reclaims the lead. Six seconds before halftime, and it gets feisty down there. Look out. All those big bodies colliding and tempers flaring. He's down here on the near side, matched up against Campbell. Barrett looks the other direction. Off the hands of Samuel, intercepted by Peppers. Look out. Peppers with the ball in his hand. Electric. Spun down at the 43, but a high throw produces... Barrett's first interception in the last six games.
little ball fake, little play action fake, keep the linebackers in. He got hit right as he threw the ball, may have affected the accuracy of the ball. That's why it maybe sailed on him a little bit high. And the kick return that set up the touchdown, now the interception. On third and short, Smith gets free, gets the edge. Davion Smith rumbling down inside the 10-yard line. Fumbled exchange, and now a scrum at the two-yard line. Buckeyes are pointing their way, and they have it. A turnover that could turn around this game. Eight guards pulling around. There's a tendency to want to pull out a little sun. It looked like he actually had his hands on the football. It wasn't as if he was pulling out too early. Ball just never quite, he was never quite able to secure it. Peppers. To his own 35, and Johnston takes off on a fake and doesn't get there. Urban Meyer said that if Michigan showed that formation, they might fake it. What a gamble. It backfires as Jordan Glasgow tackles the punter. But Wolverines need five on third down. Spate gets rid of it and a first down completion. Mara Darbo inside the 10. In the end zone. Hill and Smith in the backfield, but Spate drops back, looks in the flat, and delivers it in a touchdown. Khalid Hill has been a power runner all season long, makes his second touchdown reception. So far. But Luke Fickle kept saying the guys inside have got to be huge today, have got to play physical today. Spade steps up, delivers, intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And Baker's got blockers. Tackle inside the 15, the third Michigan turnover, the second picked by Spate, and Ohio State gets the spark they needed. To have these. Weber dives for an Ohio State touchdown. On third and six, there he is to the left, watched by Lewis. Again, pressure off the edge, and a sack. Mike McCray, part of that third down package, and Barrett Goes down hard again. Buckeyes rush for Spate immediately pressured and sacked. Bosa and Jalen Holmes combined. Absolutely. He's got to put that one behind him. Barrett looks to run, escapes. JT Barrett gets away from Peppers, who's trying to chase him down inside the 25. Oh, and McCray walks up in it. And hand it off to Weber, who muscles for a first and goal. With the interception. Here's the safety filling in for Thomas, third and goal. Barrett keeping all the way into heavy traffic, knocked down. He's two yards short. You'd have to figure Meyer's going to choose for a tying field goal here. From 20 yards, he missed earlier from 37, just his second miss of the season. And it's left. Missed it again. Buckeyes rush four, incomplete. It was thrown a little bit behind Darbo, off his hands. Denzel Ward in coverage. It's fourth down. Barrett looking for a first down throw, pressured again, and will be sacked one more time. Taco Charlton has had a ball game. Second half sacks by the Lions. Third and seven. Barrett has a lot of time. Now delivers downfield. Incomplete. And here comes a flag. It was Samuel covered by Delano Hill. I don't know if he needed to defend. The ball was very high. But the flag came in quickly. Barrett this time has plenty of time and delivers. Hill retreated after making the catch. He was ahead of the marker but is tackled at the 44 by Peppers. They didn't get much of a push in the first half, but it's been much better in the second. Barrett protected well again, delivers across the middle. Samuel down to the 35. Finally, the playmaker making an impact. Second and six, again, a ton of time. Barrett looked downfield, now just scrambles for a first down inside the 25. Barrett picks up the first down with his legs. Weber is wide left, empty backfield. They throw it to Brown, who makes the catch down inside the 10. 15 yards away, or else turn it over to Tyler Durbin again. Barrett across the middle. Catch made. Ball.
in traffic to the five. Fourth down, 20 seconds to go. That has come off Arbach, dragging on the ground, doesn't call time, and Durbin this time knocks it through. Third time, a charm. 0.0. Scoots it along the ground. See if the Wolverines have a little magic here. Jordan Lewis can dance free. Jordan Lewis has some space. Cuts back. Gets into Ohio State territory. Heart in mouth time for the Buckeye faithful. Here we go. Buckeyes from the 25. Barrett pitches out. Samuel has space. Slips as he cuts back, but skates inside the 10. First and goal, Buckeye. Barrett running all the way and scoring standing up. That was easy. Well, they hand it straight ahead, and Smith bounds down inside the 10. First and goal, Michigan. Smith. Not much. And it'll come down to one final play from the five. Spade across the middle. Touchdown. Darbo went down low. There was hesitation on the call. What a catch. Chris, but he gets his hands underneath it to secure that for a touchdown. He got away from Lattimore. The ball was thrown low. And Darbo gets underneath to make the catch. Spade has time, delivers incomplete. And well defended by Conley, kickoff man from 36 for the lead. Responds to the pressure. Weber motions out. Barrett sacked. Again, Taco Charlton along with Ben Gideon. Keeper. Hit! Right at the marker. The spot will decide it. Delano Hill got there. It looks like it's a first down. It is. Ohio State stays alive. Barely. But they put it into the hands of JT Barrett. After the fake there to Samuel, see, he gets hit low there by Hill. They're going to review the spot. They're going to review the spot. He was hit low, then, then ran into a couple of bodies high and knocked down. And this is going to be scrutinized by William Simons, the replay official. Chris, you know, Hill hit him low. And then the senior Chris warmly hit him high. It's clear in Harbaugh's mind. Yeah. I think when the forward progress would be when he's in the air, not where he lands. I think it's in the air right there. And the ball in his right arm from that angle did appear to just break the plane before he hit the ground. I, I don't think, again, if you go by where he landed, he looks like he's a half a yard short. If you go by where the forward progress is while he's in the air, I think he's right at the mark. What do you think, Dave? Let's bring in Dave Kataya. You're, ap you're absolutely right, uh, uh, Kirk. It's where the fullest extension of the ball with defensive contact. So they're going to go with that for forward spot, and now they've got to be able to tell whether it's short or not. This very well could be a stance, but they've got to get a really, really good look at it. Here's the call. After review, the play stands as called on the field. Samuel cuts it back. Ohio State wins. Michigan's misery in this building continues. Ohio State perseveres and prevails 30 to 27 in double overtime.